Well, hey church, hope you've been well. I have a ministry update for you, and it has to do with the financial gift that we sent over to Sri Lanka. Last night, I was able to speak on the phone with Mark George, and he shared the ways that those gifts are being used. He also uh, asked for some prayer, so I'm going to share that with you as well. Uh, first, the update on the financial gift and the ways that that is being used in Sri Lanka. Um, just recently, uh, 224 families, that's roughly about 970 people, uh, had delivered to them a bag of dried goods, dried food that's going to last them for 14 days. So already we have served 970 people in Sri Lanka. Um, now, this economic situation, even though it's been a month ago, hasn't gotten any better. In fact, it's gotten worse. And on top of an economic situation, there's also a shortage on fuel. So now people are standing in line uh, not just because of a lack of economic funds, but also just a lack of resources there with uh, with fuel. So Mark just asked us to um, continue praying for Sri Lanka and for those brothers and sisters over there. Now, this was really just the first run um, that uh, their plan is to do two more runs and drop off more food two more times. And the food is really split up between congregant members, Christians, and non-Christians. And already they have seen uh, the this gift this service opportunity reap the dividends of being a gospel opportunity where more people are are coming to church we pray that more people are coming to christ because they're seeing the love of the body they're seeing the love of these local pastors who are able to give all of these resources to individuals that didn't see it coming so thank you so much once again for giving mark just wanted to express that and just know that well for us it's just a simple, I say simple, but it's for us, it's a simple financial gift, but we're seeing that these financial resources are being used not only to feed uh, bellies and to fill bellies, but also to fill souls. So that's the update there. Now, Mark is uh, putting together a um, video that's going to be expressing all of these details for us. That's going to be coming um, in a couple of weeks or maybe a month or more, but he just wanted to let us know kind of in the immediate uh, time, time frame of what's going on and what's, how those uh, gifts are being used. Now, here's the prayer request. Mark and Ariana are going over to Sri Lanka over the month of July. And um, this is going to be a big trip. Number one, they're going at a very difficult time. Uh, it's Again, the economic crisis has gotten worse, not better. And so Mark's nervous. Mark hasn't been home to Sri Lanka since 2019. I believe that's what he said. So several years. Ariana has never gone to Sri Lanka, even though that's Mark's home. And so there's really concerned about just what's the state of things going to be and how is that adjustment period going to be going from San Diego where they're at in seminary and training to Sri Lanka to a very desperate situation. So he just asked for prayer that he would um, be able to serve well while they're over there, that he would be able to encourage his dad who's on the um, who's a, a missionary there and in, in, in ministry there, also be able to encourage the local pastors that he is going to get to interact with and really just to be able to be a breath of fresh air and a um, just a warm, comforting soul while he's there on the ground. So just pray for Mark and Ariana all just with travel and getting in and out of the country. Um, the um, um, emotional uh, side of things of just going to see his home again in such a desperate state. I can't imagine going through that. And just as they're even coming back uh, from this short-term mission trip um, or this short-term trip, as they are uh, looking forward to going their full-time post-seminary, just help them as they're thinking through all of these details. Now, once again, there's a full video coming. There's actually somebody in San Diego that's helping Mark put together more of a full update video. This is just a kind of a, a, a quick shot over the bow of what's going on. Um, but once again, thank you for all that you've done in this situation. And I am excited to hear about even more ways that the Lord is using this gift and our resources and our generosity to um, just create gospel opportunities on the other side of the world. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on Sunday.